right, so 129, it's the best category in anti-timber speedrunning. Uh, the goal of this category is to get all those signs in the more wall. And uh, to do so, uh, you don't need to finish the game, you just need to get all the signs. And uh, you need this uh, timer sign, and there's a link to um, the timer glitch to get this sign at the end. <coughs> uh, I assume that you pretty much know how the game works and how the game mechanics work. Um, in in case you don't, and in case uh, you want to have specific details on each puzzle and each glitches and stuff like that, there's there should be a link uh, every time I do something weird or something that needs a, needs a furthermore explanation. There should be a link to a detailed video on that. So what I'm going to do is basically a walkthrough to show you the optimized route and how to, uh, where to go and, and when to escape, how to, uh, to, to optimize your route. So, here we go. Uh, the first thing, first thing first, you need to map to Leap, Leap of Faith and jump and land on this ledge. As you may know, there's an optimized way to do this, um, but uh, I'll leave the detailed video for that. Um, also, first thing, uh, you don't need to click on the signs to get them, uh, just walk through them or uh, trigger a uh, zone somewhere. Uh, you'll have to know where where to trigger the different sites. Uh, I'll explain as um, for each one basically uh, where uh, they trigger. So this one is triggered, is triggered as you can see on the um, on my timer uh, on my sign tracker. So now you go to the bottom of the um, gallery, you you turn, and as soon as you walk inside this cube, you keep walking forward and press escape like this. Uh, you go to finding the seams. Uh, you do the green maze. Sorry, uh, to do the green maze, uh, you turn right, right, uh, right, right, left, 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 right. Um, important note, uh, yep. uh, we've just, um, the, the escape we did is just uh, skipping this walking sequ sequence. Uh, which is a bit boring and uh, which saves saves a couple of seconds but um, if you do so and if you do all those uh, walking uh, sequence skip you will uh, save a lot of time so it's right right left 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 right <coughs> now you want to go either way it doesn't matter um, I, I like to go left but if you go right, it's perfect. Um, uh, the the important part is you have to stick to the right wall or left wall if you're going the other way around. And you need to see two signs. This is the first one, and this is the second one. As soon as you've seen uh, the second sign there would be another black um, stripe here and at the middle uh, when you cross the middle of this stripe you can press escape and you will get uh, the seventh sign like this uh, which is called raw persistence and um, something like that um, now you map to Fipa's inside and you turn right as you may know, uh, to open this door, you just need to not look at it. Uh, at it. Uh, I like to look at my feet, but I know that some people look backwards. It doesn't matter. Uh, turn right, go to the blue state. Uh, and now you need to walk down the black corridor. Uh, there's nothing to say about this. Just do sharp turns and optimize tra trajectory. 
Um, one point is at the last, I don't think you can see this, but at the last uh, part of this corridor, you need to strafe left. And as soon as you get the 10th sign, or as soon as you see one bit of white or one bit of light, you press escape and map to into darkness. Turn right, follow the, the light. And here you want to go uh, to, to the stairs. Uh, to do so, you can uh, walk and press escape, but I'd like to uh, walk backwards. And as soon as uh, I see green, I press escape and go to many paths to nowhere. <coughs> so you can either go left or right, it doesn't matter. Um, if you go left after you will go right and if you go right after you will go left. So I like to go red. Um, here's the ears. Uh, there is a soft lock that you may know and that's something that you uh, need to consider if you're running and uh, now you're going right and here at the middle of this wall there's a trigger that will change this room uh, and it will change this room forever so uh, now you go back and uh, you go down the corridor and um, and you will finish the noggin part uh, to for here you can walk backwards and as soon as the the door opens you press escape and you go into darkness to get the blue gun if you know the any percent route it's pretty easy so you walk down the corridor you turn right and you go to uh, this window as soon as possible, press escape and grab the gun while you're uh, going back to the hub. Go to there's no way in and go left. Walk down this corridor and you want to get this sign. To, uh, to do so, you'll need to look at this window from the back. So you'll, you're here and as soon as you bump inside this window, you should get the sign. As soon as it uh, as you do, you press escape, do one uh, 180, go to the upper faith, do a 180 again, and look at the uh, at the eye as soon as possible. <coughs> um, so now you need to keep looking at the eye while you're uh, walking backwards to get this 20 second sign, uh, which is right here. And as soon and uh, now go back. Uh, be aware that there is a bump here, and you just need to be uh, to not uh, miss, uh, to not uh, stop look looking at the eye. So now you go to leap of, uh, leapfrog, and you do the leapfrog, and there's a specific video on that. There we go, that was a really bad one. Now uh, that you've um, opened this door, uh, you go to learning to draw. Here you'll get um, the green gun. As soon as you, as you map inside it and you get the gun, you press escape. <coughs> now you go to free pass inside and you go left and look directly at the eye. Now <coughs> press walking and uh, now you want to cross this bridge and to do so you, ju you can just keep, uh, keep walking but you can control uh, the birds by uh, just um, um, uh, walking and uh, running and do those um, spamming on the walking uh, section. It's a bit faster. It's not that much, but it's always important. Okay, so uh, laser skip part. There's a specific video on that. 
Um, I totally forgot, but as soon as you, I, I guess I'm going to do it. As soon as you're here, as soon as you cross this, you you can press escape and uh, uh, go to managing resources. Uh, now you solve managing resources. This is there's a specific video on that. Yep. You solve the big green cross. There's a specific video on that again. And now you get uh, the um, yellow gun. Don't press escape yet. You need to get uh, the sign which is right there. To get it, what I like to do is um, <coughs> go go left by strafing, and as soon as you cross this door, press escape, and you go to a jump too far. Uh, why do you tra uh, do you strafe? Well, it's because I want to go to have my pointer directly in um, in the map. So now we'll do, we will do a throw escape to um, throw a cube uh, at the ceiling and the only cube we have is this one. And this one is a bit tricky to get uh, when you're beginning but uh, that's an angle that you need to, to grab. Uh, what I like to do is um, uh, grabbing uh, by the side because the area to get it is a bit um, larger, but it's it's not that much. Uh, what you can do is switch between two steps to to get it. Uh, that it's just something that you'll have to get a grip on. So now you should at the scene, press escape, go to leap of faith, and now you can um, get your cube back if you're fast enough. You can see it. Um, you can see it arriving when you're mapping. Now you shoot at your feet and do an elevator. Uh, you may want to be as close as possible to here. It it's not really important. Now you do the uh, red gun puzzle. I'm really slow this morning. Okay, so uh, now you've got the red gun and, and then you can really start uh, the 120 sign route uh, because right now it was just a setup to, to get things going. So now you uh, solve this puzzle by getting all the cubes, now you solve this puzzle by filling all the cubes, you walk down this corridor and you want to go left. <coughs> to laying the foundation. <coughs> Sorry. Um, to fill this cube, you want to do a cube storage. Here we go. Um, you should, um, in a casual, um, you know, intended way, you need to solve this puzzle and um, and grab a cube from here. Here, you can just cube storage. You turn right and go to too many lasers. And here you will do your first um, lag glitch. So here we go. Whoops, I failed this pretty badly. I'm sorry about that. Uh, when I'm recording, the, the lag glitch is really, is really hard. Um, you want to, uh, so, uh, the, the leg glitch uh, will keep this door uh, open, so that's why you do it. Now you open this uh, part uh, by crossing this stream. Um, when you get out of lagging, there's a potential to uh, have this kind of pattern, and uh, you need to be aware that uh, you need to really cross everything that you can do okay and now you want to open all those doors and to do so you need to grab all these cubes uh, drag all these cubes down and if uh, you don't need uh, as you can see it's a really small moment to to do so and it's exactly the same here 
And for the last one, you can drag it, but what you can do is just grab him and uh, walk across the door. Now you get this sign, and as soon as you get this sign, you look at this direction and press escape. Now you go to the ground floor to start the tower. Okay, the tower is uh, the one of the trickiest parts in the in the in the run, uh, but it's really fun to do. So um, you fill those puzzles, and uh, you need to be aware that you need to do quite a lot of. 180 uh, degrees in this run, so just keep get, um, get used to this movement. Now you do a tower clip, um, there's a specific video on that, and uh, you get this sign, you should be at 41. <coughs> you walk backwards and you go to tower 2 puzzle. You walk in you get those two cubes, you grow and get, get them back, now you get five cubes, and fill those five holes. Here we go. Now you're in tower 3, and in tower 3 what you need to do is go to the tower 3 puzzle, which is yellow cross. So, uh, there's a specific uh, tutorial on that, it's pretty long, because there's plenty of threats to do this. Here I've done the optimal, uh, the optimal way. Uh, now you walk to tower 4. And now you want to go inside the tower 4. And you will be at fly. Uh, you don't need to grab it. It's just something I do. <coughs> now you walk backwards. And you will get the 46 sign. Which is this one. Uh, try and land uh, an escape before uh, getting the the 46th sign uh, and try to land it during the uh, the map animation the escape animation so like this now you map to I only need one and as you can see you map to uh, this arrow not this uh, not this section this arrow which uh, leads us to the other side of fly. Okay, so now's the funniest part of um, of tower. You need to grab a cube here, and while you're dragging, uh, uh, getting a cube uh, here, you need to cross this. As soon as you cross this, and you may, as you may have seen, I've got the 47th uh, sign. Now you go back, you do a cube storage, and you fill this hole. This will open this door, and get this cube back. You're now in tower 5, go to uh, the tower 5 door, do another cube storage, and plant this cube to uh, on the floor to make an elevator, and go to this um, long corridor. Uh, so this cube uh, went from uh, fly to to here. So you have to work your way to keep this uh, this cube alive, and it's really fun to do. And, and if you do this uh, the fastest way, it's really impressive. So now you want to walk. Uh, inside this corridor and to do so you have if you do the standard way let me get this you will open this and you don't want to do that so what you do is you just jump to avoid this to appear and at some point you will get the 50 sign sign 50 sorry and um, as soon as you've got uh, you've got this one Walk back, uh, walk back, and and uh, don't jump, and you will map to uh, what the fuck. Mm. And uh, walk to to this yellow section, and while you're doing so, grab some cubes, and now you want to cross this. To cross this, you have to 
to make a small bridge here and uh, and land on this. So there's multiple ways to do that. Um, you can do a mid air jump. You can do um, uh, just falling on it like I did. Uh, it depends on how many cubes you do uh, you get and how many cubes uh, you land here. It depends on the height uh, when you build this bridge. Uh, the impo important part is uh, not to 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 be as uh, high as possible uh, while still being able to land on this uh, on this ledge. So now you make an elevator. Uh, important part is uh, that when you do the elevator, um, let me do it like that. Don't do it like that because if you do so. Uh, there's a high chance that let me try and demonstrate this okay land on this and if you do that this like that you will fall because you're you're dragging this like that and it will be this cube that will drag to here and that's something that you don't want so what you want to do is to it is doing this the perpendicular way which is like that if you're grabbing this like that you're sure that it's it will be this one that will be dragged okay <coughs> now you walk inside tower 7 and you go to um, and as you're walking to tower 7 get your cubes back you don't need all of them but you'll need a bunch um, in an optimal way I think you need uh, eight but um, if you can just grab something like three it would be perfect because um, when you go inside you can while it's uh, this is opening you can just grow some cubes and you're good to go so here and um, yeah it's seven sorry um, and you need to fill this puzzle it's really simple and now you want to you you have to do the abstract uh, there's a specific video on that and uh, to do so look at the setting walk inside the bumper you will map to the the the, the, the final level of the tower now you look at your feet, walk backwards, this will open, and you do the abstract. And I failed, sorry. Here we go. Now that you're here, you, you need to um, get, the, get this, um, this cube. Uh, to do an elevator for you and grab it at the, the ledge which is right above you here we go you should get the 50 feet uh, sign as soon as you get this press escape and go to this arrow which leads you to the yellow puzzle in 4D which is uh, just a little bit shy and here you are so you want to go there and to go there there's multiple ways to do that what I like to do is uh, do um, fall middle jump on this uh, on this cube fall middle jump on this cube like this it's really safe there's no way you can screw it up you can do uh, an optimized way uh, from this to here with the middle jump, middle air jump, uh, but it's it's not that safe, and you don't waste a lot of time by doing this this strat. So now you're here, you do a leg glitch because you don't want to solve this. And I'm really sorry when I'm recording my um, my lagging is really so. And as soon as you cross this section, 
uh, you will get the 57 uh, 57 sign and look at your left press escape and you finish the tower <coughs> now you go you need to go to learning to draw which is called the uh, GDA the green gun area <coughs> so here you want to cut this branch walk and um, and now you need to drag this bit to here. Uh, the optimal way to do so is by grabbing this, uh, by having this angle, grab this piece of green, uh, strap right, and land this uh, drag on this part. And the, um, the green bit should slide to here. Now that you've opened this, enter it, you need to cross this and grab some cubes while you're doing that or backwards and go to here and fill those two puzzles now you walk here you open this door and as soon as you cross this press escape and go back to where, where you were so now you want to solve this big puzzle on the left so to do so you need tons of cubes so what you need to do is grab all the cubes from here and uh, you don't need all of them but um, this is base, I think the maximal uh, that you will try to um, to leave behind and uh, you need to do this um, uh, while you're working so something like this it's going to be something like that and as you can see, I've left some some cubes, but you it's I don't think it matters. Uh, you'll have plenty of cubes for this puzzle. So this puzzle can be a mess when you're when you're beginning. So um, first things first, you need to fill this branch. To do so, you're doing like that. Be aware that uh, this can go horribly wrong, like this. So just be careful when you're filling this. <coughs> it's important to fill this uh, until this very corner, and if you don't, it will mess up this uh, this setup. So once you're here, grab this corner, not this, uh, not this, really this corner that you will drag to this place, and now while it's dragging this part Oops. <coughs> now you've opened this walk in and go right as you're walking you'll want to open this trigger by landing some cubes here uh, you can do this like that or you can do with uh, with the scroll wheel it doesn't matter uh, as long as you do it and if you don't, you just stand, just stand on this and cross. Uh, when you reach this sign, look at it and press escape. Uh, now you're finished with um, uh, TTA. Now you want to map to strength in numbers. Uh, strength in numbers is the deja vu section. And uh, there's a specific video on that, so I won't comment this. But uh, do the strat necessary to go there, and uh, what you want to do is open this, go right, and go up this elevator, and there's a specific video on that. Okay, now that you're here, uh, not that you're here, um, you want to dr uh, drop in this bit. And as soon as you drop, press escape while looking at this direction, like this. <coughs> now map back to Deja Vu and you want to solve this puzzle. As soon, um, as soon as you're walking, grab some cubes from this puzzle, 
like this and fill this at the top left corner if you're filling this at the top right you will you will get stuck if you're filling this like that you may get stuck it's it didn't happen this time but uh, it can happen like this you will have a, you will have those uh, stupid stuff uh, the safest way is to aim for the top left uh, cube here okay walk in as soon as you get this sign uh, press escape while looking uh, directly in front go to managing resources and now you want to uh, go left so grab all the cubes fill all of them um, you can fill this uh, any way you want uh, there's so you can do this in three clicks like that or in four clicks I'm not expert in four clicks doesn't matter uh, do the, the strat that is uh, convenient for you uh, look at this direction and, and strat left as soon as you cross the door press escape and go to the missing pieces now do a 180 and go to this blue screen to open this uh, you'll need to grab all the cubes from this corner and, and as you're doing so you cross this wall I'm going to do this one more time and like this okay <coughs> Now you've got plenty of cubes, you want to claim this, and to claim this you can do cube pillaring, but uh, what we want to do is do, um, do the scroll wheel method. And that was not, that was pillaring with scroll wheel, which is more like this. Um, what is important is that you, you've got tons of cubes and um, when you think you're close to the wall just spam and eventually uh, you'll cross so and that's uh, that's really safe so you're good to go on that now when you are here jump here uh, to not get stuck by this wall and now that you're here when you're at this top ledge jump and fall here while looking backwards and go backwards if uh, if you just fall you will not get through okay if you jump and fall you will get through so now you you walk backwards and as soon as you get the sign you press escape and uh, that's, that's the end for the uh, for the deja vu section, and you can map you can uh, map to logic 101. Okay, so logic 101. Uh, it's one of the. There's no real trick inside it. Uh, at least there's one, but uh, it requires precise aiming it and not screw everything up it's pretty technical and you can mess up really bad and uh, messing up can cost you a lot of time so i suggest that you practice this a lot and you will get through quite easily yeah, after that so um this is intended to be sold with the blue gun but you you have the red gun now so this would be pretty easy so go inside this uh, laser, grab this cube and block this door. Uh, technically you can do this uh, without blocking the door, but uh, I don't recommend this because it requires a precise setup and uh, you don't want to, do, to have that in a, in a speedrun and, you, uh, and it's, it's, it's not convenient. Now uh, you want to open this door by, lock, um, by blocking this laser with your cube and you want to do this while you're walking like that. Okay, go down this corridor and now you want to open this door and grab 
and grab uh, at least two cubes to uh, grow some more. So grab this cube, open this door, grab this cube and this cube. Notice that I didn't move my, my mouse to do this. And um, grow some cubes, you need two swipes. This will be uh, this will be enough. Two spreads, sorry. Um, reopen this door, go to this section and uh, put a cube at the third level. Uh, the fourth you can't you can't attain it, and the second will, won't be enough. So put a cube there. Open this. Uh, whoops. Open these doors, and now you'll need to do a quick back and forth. Uh, to to open uh, uh, both of these doors, so it's uh, open this door, block, get this cube, block, open this door, and walk. And uh, if you if you're good at this, this can be uh, really fast. I'm gonna try and run this. Yeah. So you can gain a lot of time by doing this uh, the optimal way. So here you can do spread strats uh, and I failed this. Uh, there's a specific video on uh, when to do spread strats. Uh, you can still do um, things like that. Uh, get inside here to, to get the 64 sign and uh, so 74 sign, which is this one, and you should check um, from time to time if you not messed up. And uh, so I know that if I'm here, I need to have 74 sign because uh, this section is a walking se section, and I have time to look at my uh, sign counter. Uh, now you walk back, you land this. Um, this cube in this hole, and if you practice this enough, you will uh, um, shoot it while you're walking. Go in this section. If you've uh, spread too much uh, cubes on um, on a previous, uh, if you don't have enough cubes, you can spread some more here. Uh, so continue to this corridor, and now we at. Uh, the Logic 101 elevator. Fill those cubes. Uh, I like to spread it and get this sign. Walk backwards and do an elevator throw like this. Whoops! Sorry. Do an elevator throw and, and walk backwards to get out um, in this room. As soon as you're in this room, you you keep looking at here, press escape, and uh, go to now you see it. <coughs> now, what you need to do is get this um, this cube. To do so, keep looking at the door, because if you don't, uh, this will change the room. Uh, get this uh, cube, continue looking at the door, fill this cube, get this sign by walking inside. Grab this cube back, go to this section, look uh, look at this wall basically, and go back and uh, land on this section because now you've walked into uh, the the other part. So it would be something like feel go back. Um, when you're doing it, you don't have any uh, anything to 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 look at for. It's just something that you need to do me mechanically, and it works pretty uh, basically, uh, pretty simply. Open this door. Now you're uh, in top of down. Walk in. Look up. Uh, do an 80 degree, uh, 180. Uh, go back and walk. Walk across the, co the corridor, um, jump on this, jump on that, and as soon as you land this, uh, you should be at 80 signs and go back to Don't Look Down, and now you want to fall. 
so here you need to look up, look down. Uh, don't be too fast and when you're looking back, uh, look at, uh, looking down, don't, don't straightly look at your feet because the eye can lock, uh, can lock itself by doing so and uh, what I like to do is just do this like that. Uh, just just enough to open the eye and it won't lock. So as soon as you get this sign you should be at uh, 83. You look at this wall and press escape and map uh, to uh, this section taking baby steps with this uh, arrow. Okay, so now you want to grab this sign, but uh, as you may know, there's an invisible wall, uh, so you need to just jump uh, on this part and jump back. Careful because there's a wall here. Go upstairs as soon as you get this sign, press escape, and go to impossible path. So there's a tutorial on this to how to make the perfect bridge on what the fuck. So I'm going to do this. Here we are. Um, cross uh, cross this section. You will get this sign, and as soon as you have it, you walk backwards and jump to fall down um, to here. It's important that you fall down um, to, by sticking to, to this wall because there's a trigger here to uh, trigger the sign that is right there. So if you fall like that, you're going to get this sign. You can press escape while you're falling. It's, it's a timing that I let you get a grip on. Press escape. And now you're going to hidden behind glass to do the many different angles. <clears throat> so now um, you need to get behind the green screen. Like the blue screen, the problem is it will re reappear, so be quick about this. And now you you have to do whoa 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 the the whole MDA section and there's a specific video on that on the optimizations that you need to do and and the things that you need to be careful of and I won't explain this um, in this video so I'm gonna just do the MDA optimization uh, do the optimized MDA and I let you look at it in whoa, 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 whoa. in the specific video. So uh, now that you've solved this uh, by getting uh, some cubes here, you need to open this, walk inside to grab this uh, sign, walk back. And now you want to grab everything back to have some cubes to here. Once you're here, you open this door, you walk backwards and uh, you get this sign and press escape. Now you go back to NDA and now you want to solve this part of the puzzle, which is uh, by looking at this uh, circle Look back, look, uh, walk backwards. Uh, now you want to uh, fall here by looking at this direction. Look. Uh, look up, you should see this window and jump on it to only look at the red and you will fall. Now you want to uh, trigger this laser by jumping. Now you're up again. If you look down, there's an eye that opens. Now there's an elevator, and if you time correctly your jump, you should land here. Um, 
important parts um, can work backwards, but I recommend um, turn, uh, looking back and um, and walk like this. Uh, as soon as you cross this section, you should get the 93rd sign, and now you can press escape to go to STH. So STH is the way to heaven, which is this part. <coughs> so, uh, the optimal way to do STH is firstly to rock across the corridor, open everything that you want with the lasers, uh, and go to the, to the part on the right. And now you want to fall here and land on this ledge. Um, uh, the thing that you can do is fall and mid-air jump, but what I discovered is that if you just walk to this corner by um, uh, sticking to front and right at the same time, you will skip um, on this ledge, like this. As you can see, I'm uh, I land on the ledge and I'm now looking at this direction which is perfect because that's where I want to map so keep going right as soon as you get the sign or as soon as you see um, this uh, this uh, gradient press escape go back to stop and go and now what you want to do is walk uh, to not uh, trigger the birds uh, and to not trigger the lasers. Okay, so now you go, you strike left. As soon as you see this sign, you can press escape and go to stop and go again. Now you want to walk backwards and up, uh, go up this um, this stairs while you're getting some cubes from this puzzle. Now is the tricky part. You need to land on uh, on the elevator that is right there, basically. Um, so that's something you have to get a grip on. Uh, so you're completely blind to do this. And um, what I like to do is, as soon as I get up here and I right right along here, I jump back and I failed, and um, push, uh, just tap uh, front once, like this. Ah, damn it. When I'm not in the, in the direct mood, I'm not in, on it. So, when you're down in the elevator, keep pressing backwards, or keep, uh, just turn if you, if you have the time. And you should be here now. <coughs> to you want to um, to get some cubes across this room, but you can't because there's a cube constraint field. Thing is uh, that you can put some cubes uh, here. I'm pretty sure that you didn't know that there was uh, a space above this. And now that you put some cubes here. You walk inside and grab some cubes back. So now you're pushing this um, while you're getting some cubes back. You push this uh, this cube uh, until the very maximum, and while you're doing so, you grab this cube. When this cube is uh, this big cube is locked. Uh, put a cube on it. Be aware that if you're too fast, you can end up uh, with your cube inside the other cube, and you're completely screwed. Now you do the butterfly effect, uh, linked to the past. There's a specific video on that, so I won't cover this. And fuck, I failed. Now you grab this hundred sign and. Now is a now is a good time to check that uh, you have you exactly have hundred si signs. Go back, land on the elevator, 
grab your cube and uh, land uh, a good jump to boost your way up, like this. Once you're here, as soon as you land, shoot on this cube, uh, on this uh, hole and open this door. Now you have plenty of cubes to fill everything here. So uh, here is what I call the yellow shots. Is that uh, you? What you want to do is shoot at those cubes while you're walking. Maybe if I can land at least one. Damn it! Damn it! I can. I can't. Don't 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 worry. It it happens. <laughs> it happens a lot. Um, if you're not able to do, just correct this. Uh, so you want to open this door, this door, and this door. Yes, I land at least one. Now you want to open this, and the optimal way, uh, as I've talked the, about this in the cube spread strat, is uh, you open this door, you do a cube spread here, and while you're spreading cubes, you walk, uh, you strafe left to get this sign, and uh, while you're getting this sign, this door will open, and you can get this sign. You're not finished uh, in STH. What you need to do is go to jumping through hoops, walk here, and jump, and press escape. Uh, that's two signs uh, that you get here and that you're missing while doing the other sections. Okay, so. Now to the final part before the chase, uh, go to 2 minute lasers, uh, do a 180, go back, grab some cubes here, um, while you're walking, grab all the cubes here, and fill everything until this open. <coughs> the more cubes you have from here, the more cubes you will uh, have at the end of this cube spread. Basically, all the cubes that are on this straight line are enough to open this door. All the bonus you have is just um, is just bonus to uh, miss the cube spread and have some left uh, at the end. So now you want to go left. Uh, notice that uh, previously we went right, uh, we went right, uh, we went left, but it was from this uh, corridor. Now we go left from this corridor. And you do again the same cube storage. You fill this hole, and now you go to this section. Now you want to fall. You can fall right here, or you can fall like that. It's a bit of an optimization. Nothing too too much worthy. What day of trouble? And now you do the red cross. Uh, there's a tutorial on the red cross, so I won't cover this. And as you can see. I can fail this pretty badly. Here we are. So get this sign. And now you want to do an elevator to go to here. So you should be, when you're, you're going up, you should be at... Uh, 111 11 signs and uh, that's your check. Once you up this, jump to not fall again and as soon as you get this sign, press escape and go to a loop that won't close. And that will be your final mapping before the chase. Now grab some cubes here and there, <coughs> grow some cubes uh, spread some cubes, get them back and spread again to add a bunch of, of cubes uh, here to make the same thing here. There's a specific tutorial on that so I won't uh, explain too much. Great, grab some cubes back, uh, do the cube filling. Whoops, whoops. Here we go, and now you're finished with uh, the standard cube. Uh, that's the standard uh, route. 
as you can see on uh, the more wall that appears in my stream, in my recording, uh, that we have all the cubes. Uh, we're just missing the timer, um, the timer sign, which is this one, and we're missing the final one, which w which uh, are um, can be obtained from this. So now. You go to a jump too far, and we will head to the to the, to the exit now. So you grab a cube here, the same cube as before. Whoops, big lag. Sorry. Here we are. You put your cube there, and you grab it to here. This will destroy this part. You cross this, and you grab some 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 cubes here. You just need two or three minimum, uh, at least two. So now you do a leg glitch. I'm so sorry, it's really slow. Here we are. <coughs> and now we uh, we are in the chase with some cubes, uh, and you need to grow a bunch. And when I, when I say a bunch, it's a lot. So now you, that you have that you have a lot of cubes, you can uh, do the elevator skip like this. Simple. Uh, you just do a big pillar and you uh, walk backwards. You look at this uh, window. It's it's the standard way, and if you've done the game, I'm pretty sure you know this. Uh, fun fact: I like to to put some cubes here because if they disappear I know that I'm, uh, that I'm in the uh, the other room it's not it's not really useful but it's something that you you may know so now it's standard standard uh, look at all the circles while uh, while walking backwards if you if you did the game you you know you know that um, so grow some cubes if you don't have anything to do, and here we're we're gonna do the 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 this warp, which is if you so you enter this room, you put at least two cubes. You can warp in one cube, but it's really not convenient. At least two cubes. You can grow a bunch with the scroll wheel. Uh, I like to put two cubes, walk back, bump on this, uh, bump on this wall, and you should see uh, this, which is this big ledge uh, of this room and the um, and the cube, the cube that are on the other room. Uh, if you don't bump, just walk inside this, and now you want to walk straight inside your cubes, and this should warp you. To the other side uh, without doing the, the bumper and the stuff like that. Okay, now you're in the stairs uh, room. There's a specific tutorial on that. I won't cover this because uh, there's plenty of stuff to talk about. I'm doing the usual thing I do. Here we go. <coughs> so now that you're up, uh, up the stairs, I, you will walk down this corridor and as soon as you get this sign you can do a throw escape uh, with the scroll wheel uh, I like to do with the scroll wheel because you can throw escape a bunch of cubes um, and skip some walking uh, now you go to the escape you, you do a 180 and you should see all your cubes <coughs> You put a cube there, a cube there. You get uh, this sign. You get back. You open this door. You can, if you're really good, you can open this door like that. But um, I mean, if you have cubes, you can try it. But uh, don't mind if you fade in, if you fade this. Uh, you open this door. You open this door. You open this door. You open this door. 
you open this door. Now what you want to do is uh, do the uh, cube storage to avoid the laser trolling at the end. There's a specific video on that. Here we are. So let go of the cube storage. And now, uh, so I didn't explain, you just need to go right and uh, up the elevator. I don't explain because uh, it's the standard way to the, the escape. So now you avoid la laser trolling uh, like uh, shown pre um, previously in an in a other video. And now you want to get uh, the, um, the last standard sign, which is this one, and uh, you will get it as soon as you uh, cross this wall, I think. Yeah. Or I, I think it's when you fall here. I can't remember exactly the trigger. And now you can press escape, and you just need to do the timer glitch, which is uh, like that and you're good to go and as you can see I've finished my um, my tutorial under um, under an hour so that's great <laughs> so uh, that's it for the 120 tutorial please don't do any percent do uh, this do this category it's it's way better it has a lot of stuff. The routing is a bit hard, but um, as soon as you remember the basic route, the, the basic IDs, uh, you don't you don't have a lot of things to worry about, and there's tons of stuff that you have to do. And as you may have seen um, in the world record footage or in my PB's uh, recordings or stuff like that. It's really impressive when you can land every trick in the game. So that's it for the 120 sign. And as you can see, I lost my gun. So see you and bye bye.